Everybody. So today we're going to be coloring up this cute whimsy stamp image called Piggy Bath and I just for no reason just wanted to color him, uh, color him up because he's an animal I guess and we don't usually do animals. So I've already stamped him on my Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and if you'd like to see if this kit is still available head over to the store and there's a link down in the description box and just type in Piggy Bath up in the search bar of the store and it'll pop up if it's there. If not check out some of the other card kits and um, come color along with me. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by outlining my image, and for that I'm going to use B000, B quadruple zero, and my colorless blender. And I'm going to start with my B triple zero, and I'm just going to go all the way around. So I'm going to start down here at his foot, and I'm just going to make a small line right next to him or her, whichever you would like her to him or her to be. And I'm going to go all the way around to the other side, to his other foot. And you could also do um, your Ranger Distress Inks with tumbled glass or some light, other light blue ink you've got and color the background. I cheat a lot of times and just use that and make clouds. So I've went all the way over here to where I have mud. So then I'm going to grab my B quadruple zero and I just take my pen and I lay it down um, on top of my B triple zero and I just flick away from my, from my image. And I just go as far as my hand will allow me to go without having to readjust my hand. And this works really good if your pin is really wet. So if it's drying out, you may need to refill it and then go along and do your flicking. Turn it here a little bit. Let's do this side. And then I grab my colorless blender and I do the same thing. I just lay down on top of my, actually on top of the pig, and I just brush out past both colors. And that kind of blends them both together while softening the very edge of the last color. And because we haven't colored him yet, we don't have to be careful. We just flick right over the top of him. And my colorless blender is really wet. I keep it refilled um, every couple of times. I just refill it because I use it quite a bit to do these outlining. So it just works better if it's really wet. So next, let's work on the mud. And for that, I'm going to use E47, E44, E43, and E41. I'm going to start with my 47. And I'm going to add where I want to add some shadow. So he's got a little bit of mud on him. So he's got a little dot right here. I'm just going to add a little tiny dab down at the bottom. And I'm going to add a little bit here on the bottom of this one. Then I'm going to skip over here and I'm going to do this side. And just put a little bit on each one of those. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my 44. And I'm going to touch down on my 47. And I'm just going to pull up just a little bit. I'm going to soften that line just a tad. And then I'm going to grab 43. And this one I'm going to run out on space on, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in. And I'll work my way down here, get this one, and this one. And then I'm going to fill those in the rest of the way with 41. And 41 is pretty light, so I'm just going to kind of dab it around all the way around on the mud. After I soften this edge a little bit, I go back over it and just kind of push my pen up and down on the mud spots and make it a little bit more blotchy. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my 47 again. I'm going to go down here at the bottom. And let's add a little bit of dark here on the edges. Just going to go 
go right along the edge and add some shadow in there on the edge of our dirt. And as long as I've got this one out, I think I'll add a little bit to each of these little spots down here. Whoops. And then we're going to grab 44. Let's add a little bit to these dots. And we'll go up here and brush over the edge of our mud up here. And he's also got right in here between where his paws are, or his hooves and his body, I'm just going to put a little bit of this dark right up there next to his body where he's kind of sitting. Like that. Oh, maybe I'll get a little bit in between his little hooves right here too. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my 43. And we're going to start down here in my dots. I think I'll fill those all the way in. There's not too much left on there. And then we'll go down here and we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to work that line up here closer towards his body. Softening that line. Let's go up here and soften this one. And I think I'll go next to him just a little bit. Yeah. Just leave a little bit of white in there. Well, let's get right right here. Okay, and then I'm going to fill it in with 41. So I'm brushing right over both of those lines and just adding some color in there. Go back and do this side. Okay, now to soften it up a little bit more, I'm just going to kind of dab it up and down, round and around on that mud some more. Okay, that's pretty good for our first coat there. So let's also go and add a little bit of shadows to his hooves. So I'm going to start with my E47. I'm just going to go right along the edge of this one. And I kind of use these little lines he's already got on his hoof as a guide. So like on this side over here, he's got a couple that kind of go up. So I just kind of went close to those. And then over here, I'm going to do close to his body and then do a little bit on each one of his little hooves there. Then I'm going to grab 44 and we're going to brush over that line and then we're going to add 43 I'm going to fill that one. I think I'll fill them all the way in. And then I'll take my 41 and just brush over them. And that'll lighten them just a little bit. Like that. Okay, now let's do... 43 around the outside because I didn't want the mud to just stop cold turkey out here. I'm just going to add a little bit of my 43 out here, just a tad going away from our mud. Go around each of these circles. Just going to dab it on there. And I didn't care that it was even or 
straight. It's supposed to be mud. So I was just blobbing it on there. Then I'm going to take my 41 and I'm just going to go right over the edges of that. I'm just going to brush right over that entire thing, but brush out past where it stops. And then I'm going to take my colorless blender and I'm just going to swirl over that edge. So I'm just kind of going in a little circular motion and going over the, all the outside of where this mud is. Just giving it a messy look. Now I'm going to take, um, I added a few little dots up here close to the body, so I'm going to take my 44 and I'm just going to add a few little dots up here and over to his hoof. It just didn't look quite the way I wanted it to when I got it all blended out, so I added a few little dots in there. And then I did the same thing with 43. I added a few in between and a few out further. And then to soften them, I just took the E41 and just lightly brushed over them. Like that. And that's a nice little mud pit. And then up here on my little pig, he's got a couple of little slash marks or hash marks on him. I took the E43 and just very lightly like that. And then I took my 41 and I laid down on top and I went just a little bit more past. Just to add a little bit of scruffy marks there. So for the pig, we're going to use RV42, R32, R30, R00, and R000. I'm going to start with RV42. And I think I will start down here on his body. So I'm going to add some shadows. So let's add some shadows right here. And I love these little lines that they've added, so I'm just going to go ahead and use those. Bring this one up. And let's go right here. Oh, let's just go all the way around on that one. I'm going to go over here. Oops. Go over here. Go back down. Add some shadows in there. And, oops, I guess I should do the top of his hoof here. Like that. And then I'm going to grab R32. And I'm going to brush right over the top of that. pretty good. And then I'm going to take R30. I'm just working my way down. And just again brushing right over that line. Oops, adding some more color.
Okay, it's looking kind of bad. That's okay. We're going to continue on with our R00. And brush a little bit more on there. And I'm brushing over the colors I already laid down. I'm just extending them out a little bit farther. I'm leaving a little bit of white left right there. For my very last color. Which is our triple zero. I'm going to go ahead and just brush right over the whole thing. And fill that white space in. Okay, so there he is. Oh, yes, he looks terrible, but that's okay because we're going to put another coat. So I'm going to go with um, RV42. Let's flick that up here over these lines. And then I'm going to skip R30. I'm going to, go, or sorry, not R30. Skip R32, and I'm going to go with R30 next. And we're just going to brush right over that again. Brush right towards the middle. And I'm just going all the way around. Grab R00. And then we're going to fill it in with R triple zero. I'm going to let that dry, and then we're going to come back and see if I need to add just a little bit more. So we're going to start up here at the top, and I'm going to do his ears. So I'm going to start with RV42, and I'm going to add underneath right here. Let's add a little bit right here, and then let's do this bottom part of his ear. And same for this one. I'm going to fill this little section in, and then I'm going to come down here and add a little bit to his ear right here. Then I'm going to go with R32. And I think I'll add this right here in the crack, maybe a little bit more. This looks like this one's darker. Maybe just a tad bit more. That one maybe should have been before R30 to RV42. So let's go ahead and do RV42 again. Let's add a little bit more on top here. And then we'll go with R30. There, that looks good. And then R00. And then we'll fill in that last little bit with R000. go down here into his face while his ears dry and see if they need another coat. So I'm going to start with R32 this time. So it looks like that should have been the first color. I must have wrote them down wrong. So I'll go fix that after I get done here. And I'm going to go around his snout. Over here. Like that. I think I'll bring these little dimple things in just a little bit. Like that. Then I'm going to grab RV42 and we're going to brush right over that edge and pull it in a little bit more.
I'm just going to run this little cheek here. And then R30. R double zero. Or triple zero to fill it in. Okay, and then for his cheeks and his snout, I'm going to use R30 first. Let's go ahead and add some R30 down here at the bottom. Maybe add a little bit over here. And let's get a little bit here in this ear, right here. I filled this one all the way in because it's kind of tipped over the top, so I thought it would be more shadowed there. And then I've got a um, R00. I'm going to add a little bit more. Let's add a little bit. Let's fill in this ear on this side. And then R00 to fill in those cheeks. And his snout. There is our dirty pig. I'm liking that. So for all these little hearts out here, I used R59, 27, and 24. And I started with my 59, and I just added, there's some lines on here already, so I just added a little bit of my, my darkest right next to those lines. And then I went to 27, and I added on top. So I brushed over the 59. A little bit more. And then I fill them in with the 24. And I save the red till last because I'm terrible with red and it never fails. I tend to get it everywhere. It's just I'm messy with it. Same thing for this side. And then there's a bunch of little dots like floating around out here in the sky. So I just went in with my 24 and filled those in because they're pretty small, but you can still see the center. Let me get this little one down right here. So that is our Whimsy Stamps Piggy Bath card. And when I got all done, I added some stickles to his cheeks and all these little flat, um, hearts out here. And then I took my Spica glitter pen and clear, and I did all these little dash lines right here in his little swirls just to add some um, sparkles to there. And here is the finished card. But isn't he cute? He's so pink and pretty. And you could stamp whatever you wanted on the inside and send him to a friend. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.